you're designing a new concert hall for a symphony orchestra with a recommended reverberation time of about 1.9 seconds. How high should the concert hall ceilings be? In this video, we'll go over the rule of thumb when it comes to acoustics and ceiling heights. So Wallace Sabine started the study of room acoustics at the turn of the century with his studies of reverberation. He used these principles to design the famous Boston Symphony Hall. The hall was often cited as one of the best sounding classical concert venues in the world. Reverberation time is how much time a sound needs to decay after it's stopped playing. It's most affected by the size of the space as well as the materials used in the space. When it comes to ceiling heights, there is a rule of thumb commonly used to get a quick estimation of how high the ceiling would have to be. The rule is the estimated ceiling height is equal to the desired reverberation time times 20. So in this example, the concert hall needs a reverberation time of about 1.9 seconds. Using our quick rule of thumb equation, we can estimate that the ceiling should be approximately 38 feet high. Of course, there would be much more planning involved in the design of the space, such as the shape of the room and the materials used, but this can give a fast estimation. Remember, the higher the ceiling, the longer the reverb time. A quick cheat sheet with this rule of thumb can be found on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.